Inkubo eti Child Justice Act. Lentelo lena, intelo that is going to help us to assist our children. Gengu boyokuti abandwa na be tubangas boni be on the other side of the law. Abantu ke abaza kusineta ngalo lo shelo by tatu. Sizo kuluma no mis tobi leshezi obuya kwi social development. Usi stobi leshezi uza sineta aschele sonke ba pula pulu ukuti. Eh, yini nikanti lento ibizwa i Child Justice Act. Uza stele la futi ukuba yini nisiza tusokuti kubene separate criminal justice system for abantuana. Bapula puli as you can hear, eh, na mshanje sizo sebenza no msaka ziwe tu ukombi, but this time eh, eh, our msaka ze, our presenter is stuck in the traffic. The weather is so terrible, it's so terrible here in, in, in Johannesburg. She's going to be joining us. Don't, don't, don't get worried. Nisbuzu kutibatu. Mbani lo skuluma na etina. Sichwaile ukombi. Ukombi will be joining us right now. But for now, let us welcome Usi Sitobi Leshezi, uh, who is with us telephonically from KZN. Uh, Sitobi Leshezi, I'm going to talk to you later. Yeah, but son bonani ninjani. Ah, we are child justice act. And later on in the program, sis Tobile, you are going to be joined by uh, two gentlemen, Pravincetti from TSD and Johan Tutoid from NPA. But right now, to keep the fire burning, Sikela uste lekewe na kesi swam sistobile. Ukuti, it's Child Justice Act. Yi ni kashi kashi. The Child Justice Act, si kashi kashi, umte to osunguli iwe. Oti la nezingane mazibushi zibe zibe in conflict with the law. Ogu iwa na mte to okfanele umba izingandolo kumbe engati izingandolo ziya usede nzisa nga shana zipila nezi ngane ee zina pansi kwe miyaka ewe eitini uu mazenzi ili ama kasha ndi lo mteto iwana o gaita ngisho abo social workers that are called all probation officers as much as nama poisa abo ya gaita ngisho wange umundu o sebenza nezi ngane that are in conflict with the law Yo, I keep a pull up police. It is really a good long term to catch a catch a yin. Very soon, you will be allowed to send a female or good in the sale. Um, uh, 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 Emma Hala, that you can call us to ask a question or two is 0800-142-446. You are welcome to ask the question. As you told me, you must be in the food, you see, 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 Eh, puti mangi nga asho ngi pendu lingiti <coughs> Pambili ni beskate si ni criminal procedure act Of which ni criminal procedure act It just focuses like Ekte ni umundu has done wrong Umundu wonile And di kumele akwejwe Nga ekwejwa iyaba nika Itarekshi ni ukuti nga umundu ekwejwa Nasu isi kwebo ufanele as troll Uma etola le kwebo usi trolla ngokuthi wone kanga kana ni ngoba na matala etu ashukene izika ba ezi ndati they are in schedule 1, schedule 2, schedule 3 ngoku ya ngokuthi kune kala asishu angi kina waya chiana nje ngoku ogwe meta ne reifu kuyo nge na tuko ngo schedule 3 ebe sekuti mchambe na matala ama ngane osu osu of the thing the otest and mchambe imani inga fansi kita wiko 1000 ben hiyo be iti gena the schedule 1 Ila kwa ge ufunye u criminal procedure, ufunye u shauku tino, 
umuntu owone owenzele lucaci ubhetshwa kanje ukuthema kubonakala kwabonakala ukuthini iyingane zethu azithekele nekile kahle kahle ngezinde isiqinisa ukusisa x kwaphela ukufonya uchaze wase x uchaze wase x ufike uthini nama uthuthuka nathi hayi ithima kufeka ukuqala bekho ukuthi nawonile nje impe yenzekalayo kuwe uyathathi yodinga ebhere manje wafika uchaze wase x uthini sina ma uthuluma nathi umthetho odila nezingane ukuthi nanhloke ingane seyomile ma siqala lapho ingane iboshwayo ukuthi nangu umntwana useyaboshwa isiya siphuma umntwana esaboshwa yini ofanele ma yenze isiya sinawina ke uChaze wase x ukuthi ingana kathi uma kungithi nje ubabuphoyisa nangu seyibophile ngokukhulu ukushesha nangendlela zakhona makathinta usocial worker le social worker obizwa ngokuthi uSegregation office ngenhlanza ke lapha kwazulu natali wonke amapolice station anazo inamba zeprofession office abakuleyo nda baba thinta ukuthi nansi ingane eboshini ebese usocial worker uyafuka umthetho njani wonke uChaze wase segle uyafuka ukuthi hamba ke manje ingane mayibone usocial worker ingakaphela isikhathi esinga mahorange 48 mayibona usocial worker fanele ivele inkantolo mzima njalo ngeingane ezingaphansi kwenyaka e18 makayibona le social worker abese eyandza irecommendation ngokuthi esewenzile i-assessment ukuthi bengane ikanjani isimo sayo sithini because isandla sisexile iyabhekele kakhe nakahle ukuthi asibheka ukuthi kahle kakhe imbangela yengane ukuthi ize yenze iqala bebunga phansi kwasiphi isimo yilokho okwenziwa ngesikhathi kusocial worker enza i-assessment abe eseyake enza izinyoni enkathi yolu ukuthi liyaqhubeka ifana noma iqala liqhubeka ngoba sixteen months esidla ezinoma ufana nento esithi i-diversion liphume ingane ingahambi ngale ukuthi ukuthi ihambe ngoba sixteen months ya sixteen ingoze ingane ingabi nayo i-criminal record esimunjesi esiya yesibeke sesifana ngaphansi kwamaprogram c esinga ai sis eh, sisithobile waze wakhuluma elinye igama elikhulu kabi i, i diversion masilibambe kancane eligama siyabuya <coughs> sizobuza ukuthi kahle kahle i diversion lena yini <coughs> at this point <coughs> besithe be eh, balaleli eh, ukhombi eh usabethwa i traffic iweza imbika bilapha phandle emaje ndiyambona nangu siya smile smile sikefikile eh uzongena ke athathe indawo yakhe but at this point once again sithe sizophinda sijoinwe apha eh omunye ubaba simbiza u province chedi nayo ubuya ku development social development let's remember kaloku ikzn abaphula phula abaninzi hebo bakhuluma isizulu but bakhona nabanye laba bakhuluma isingesi at this point let us try and invite and welcome ubabu province ethi asitshele yena ukuthi what is it that it devo- social development is doing to ensure that uh, this act child justice act is popularized at this point uh, mr chetty welcome to the program Yes, good afternoon, sir. Uh, sir, this question is directed to you. Uh, we were chatting with Ms. Toby Lesezi as uh, she was telling us about all these go- good programs and beautiful programs. But now we'd like to know from you, sir, what is it that your department is doing to ensure that this beautiful act is popularized and it is known by all the people who are supposed to know it? Yeah. Yeah, uh, so in terms of the populariz- uh, popularization of the act, you know, I think there's different endeavors in terms of that. You know, from the time that a child comes into the system, you know, there's the entry point with the South African Police Services, and thereafter the child is brought to the Department of Social Development for an assessment. And that assessment process is, is basically a holistic process that would entail uh, an assessment of the circumstances of the person, you know, where after 
there would be a, a recommendation made, you know, in terms of guiding the court. But I think to answer your question in terms of how do we ensure that we popularize the Child Justice Act, and I think that basically comes down in terms of the marketing endeavors. You know, we have probation officers on the ground who are responsible for the provision of services uh, as mandated then by the Probation Services Act. We also then have intersectoral initiatives with the other departments, like the Department of Justice and Constitutional Development, the NPA, um, uh, the SAPS, and all different departments, whereby we try to take these services to the community so that they are aware of the Child Justice Act and the provisions in terms of the Child Justice Act. And I think more especially in terms of the roles and responsibilities of the different departments. And that starts right from the ground with the probation officer ensuring that, you know, the community is okay with the document and that they understand what the provisions of the Child Justice Act is. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chetty. At this point, Balalili, I promise you that I but Engin bingele na wana leli stonzi saka kudu njenge skati Gya nete koli mvula nea iliva Ii moto zminye nuchu ume mkwa kutaini Sasi kona geglo nushelo lechu Njengo ba ese shilo umfwe tula Engles na e studio uguti no maganja Niskuluma e, nge sloke sbalege kakudu Lana e child justice Uma kukudu nyo wakaya ngalo bubulu Ngi swabe zingani Sasi uguti nge ntlobo ntlobo za matala Nge ptala nge ubuza kutobile shezi Uguti nge mpeno makudu nyo wakaya E ngane I, Ubano tatu nge nge ngane Imi pi mnyaga la kutuwa kona Lona ui ngane Nga koge kufane luguti ashushi Iso manje nga matala wenzile and the other one is Combi, who is being a man. Since Combi in Ghana and the Rom Church, the Roman Rom Church, the children in Ghana, you know, you want to offend the Panty when you are 18. Father, if Ubu got no way, you go to Matalin, you want to offend the Gaz with the Sushi. In Ghana, in the Panty when you are 18. I got her changing the Mundu on a criminal capacity. No, but it's criminal capacity yet. And they get in Ghana in a party when you are L10 is social and so social. What are they assuming? So, Ugutima in Ghana in a party when you are L10 Ibaneta. If you answer them, come to Ipambana and take for that people or if you enjoy that you did. I see you again, lady, to my bench, I will see you in the way that I get to the social development. God, a book on Ama Protein, a suggestion of Uguti, in Ghana you need. But Masizana Yogut Masin and Ten in that could be the Lipandi. See if I get one of my problems, it's the social development. Sizwa Gas, it's now. In Pelan Lolutaba, Eskulumaga, and Sanji, and Janga Lugusubegile. Ukona lunyu tabla kwa nenze ka pesha kwa ino antegle mnyage lule umanga posisi la pu ii ngane kona leze zinga mapuli ezi nenzuzula ezi lwa nezi nyi ngane eza zipakati kwa mnyage ngu 6 kwa ngu 8 la zaba kona nenzuzula etile nga nene na ene mnyage mbili zona zenza lobu mnzuzula balo ya ze ya tule mshabe ndo ngane nga kumbuliti kune zinya tele za atatwa kwa toko wafane luguti mande kishanga niswa baza luguti bakulu menga lulutaba ngizu wakati mpela mawibe kuguti ii nganezi ni mnyaga inga panzi e azifu melegi luguti zona zushushi iswe kwa tage unga gubege njega fupu kutu uma kurinyo wakenga matala inchobonia matala mangane enzi wa ii ngane bese kuba ibapi ama matala esi nga wabega njega matala pita itobele sisi aliko ikala esi nga tika shika sheli ikala esi nga yee yeah. bese ndige nga chaza na sika ya nguti kwa wana ama chana ashuke ni katatu kukona u ama osketu wani kukona osketu tu kukona osketu tri mhm mhm osketu wani ila po ingane msha mbe ngizo wenzi spone lo u shop lifting kwa ba yungwa na ingane u tefti imali msha mbe ozo ituwa nguti nga pansu kwe thousand wani ini ndo tuku ba kona la matala ama kuli nga mbela haba njengo rape haba njengo meta yee 
eni lapho kwenye ingathi kodwa ke noma kungathiwa ingane inaqala nini ngoko umthetho wakhe waka social media ngoko umthetho we child justice age cishe ngenze ithutha kanye ngoko umthetho waka social development ngoko umthetho we child justice act ETA masenze sho ukuthi noma singakwenza kanjani kodwa ingane bayithi noma ishushiswa ukuyiswa ejele akuqhamuke as a last resort yep ngoba kunga seko ngempele oku nukwenze ka ukuthi ngoba ingane sizo zisi suse mpagatini angi tisi ya ibega na kuma child and youth care center mm-hmm. oku nga wumi ya ngowejo siku nilapo ngoba kwenye nga tisi zwe isu sage ngoba kubo nakalela isi mo sayo wangendu sone na fiti mshambe kute gusa besa pulisha na njengo baga ke usho nangu ese shon yeah. aba kubo leo nage o oh, o oh, o um, aba kubo ka victim sebe zo wenza mshambe ii nchongo zo kutiba zo zisele lingane siya pega nalo kukuti lingane ma itete ele mpaka chini ukutepa guayo gunga ganani gunga ganani yeah. that's why isi singiteka tingi kuduma no pupet kale ningati u social worker no probation officer wenza lende city assessment yeah hui assessment yeah. yake upega wonge ama aspect ingane atima epeka aga ipegi ingane ez ingane yodwa utima epeka ingane apeke ingane ez umdin mm-hmm. ez ilu ngalo mpada mm 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 yebo ma ito niseli msula lelo njongo bubega kutinge mpela ez nyizi ndo kia gubo tino mpaga tina uya mugela ganjani lendo ngoba siyazu kutiglis katis pila kusona sese mpaga tina laba ndu kona benu ulago nga gazulubo na maga wenze gito nje haba ndi baeba tati ikali zonke ba shoma ba ndu kanti kune inzele singenza ngazo ukuthi ingane si ibu yise ento enezi yyo siyazu kuti nge mpela kutuwa mtento kujwa use manzi nga kwake isi zinda esi ishe nge mpela so mtetu eba ndu ane nibetu fanele stale kaya nga pambu kuti nje si kubega ni mbuzo yetu balaleli si shaile nukringo kungenze kuti na une mbuzo noma une mbono onga tandu kutu uibuze ukona utobile shezi ukona no mnumzani upravin chedi ukona no yohan ubuya wi npa njengu bakushiwo e ngizo kutala manji kutu si kulume no yohan nga pambu kutu si tate e ii ngingo zenu shaile ni nombole ni tamahala leni azio eti o eight hundred one four two four four six uh, Mr. Johan, I just want to know from you, what is diversion, if you can just explain further? Diversion is simply a method to divert the child away from the criminal justice system. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he won't get a previous conviction. It's to take him out of the whole uh, criminal system, which is very intimidating, mm-hmm. even for adults. And it's to save him that... Um, experience and then of course the most important thing is rehabilitation mm-hmm. and to give him another chance to give the child who's uh, in conflict with the law uh, a chance to better himself within the community that's basically what diversion is all about now when we're explaining about diversion does this mean that children who commit crime they can just get away with it no diversion even the act even the act says that diversion is only takes place in appropriate circumstances. Mm-hmm. Diversion should never bring the administration of justice into disrepute. So if you are going to divert cases which are not appropriate, that's exactly what you will do. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. the children will learn quickly that I can be diverted um, and I can get away with it. Mm -hmm. That is why part of the diversion, one of the requirements of diversion is that you have to acknowledge responsibility for the offense. Mm -hmm. So you can't just say yes. You actually have to, just like somebody who's who's an alcoholic, he has to admit he's an alcoholic. If he doesn't admit that, you can't help him. So Mm -hmm. diversion is based on the same principle. You must acknowledge that you uh, that you are responsible, and then you must also consent to diversion, and you will undergo then a program which hopefully will rehabilitate you. Uh, yeah, that is understandable. It, it is understandable, but there is something that just uh, just I want to know from you, and I think our viewers would also love to know this. Crime is crime, <laughs> as far as we're concerned. But why is it necessary? to create a separate criminal um, system for children only?
Can you hear me? Sorry, sorry, I just lost you there for a moment. Why is it necessary to create a, uh, the Child Justice Act? Yeah, that, that's what I'm trying to say to you, that crime is crime. So why is it so necessary that to create a separate criminal system for children only? Because crime is crime as far as we're concerned. It's, it's not quite correct that you, you're creating a different system. Mm-hmm. What you're doing is simply uh, the Child Justice Act must be seen together with the Criminal Procedure Act. The Child Justice Act deals with the pre-trial procedure before a child uh, goes to the preliminary inquiry, which deals basically with um, diversion. And then the Criminal Procedure Act kicks in mm. if the child goes to the Child Justice Court for trial, and then we go back to the Child Justice Act when it comes to sentencing. Uh, so these things all required. You either, you, you, the legislature or parliament had the choice Either they would have had to virtually rewrite the Criminal Procedure Act mm-hmm. insofar as it relates to children, uh, which was basically just three sections in the old Criminal Procedure Act. They would have, and, and now we, we're sitting with 95 sections. So to that extent, it was necessary to create the Child Justice Act. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Can you explain uh, what does the, the constitution of the country, of our country, says about uh, the child justice system? What does it say? What, does, what can we see or what does it reflect in the constitution? The constitution, section 28, says basically we have to take the interests the, the, the interest of the child are paramount. Mm-hmm. Uh, and also in the constitution we have to apply all our international obligations, etc., etc., so, and the children, our, our legislation as far as children was concerned, mm-hmm. which is, the, the Child Justice Act is, is an attempt to bring us in line with international obligations, with our constitutional uh, obligations, etc. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the, the Constitution doesn't expressly say anything, it just simply says in Section 28, uh, the interests of the child are paramount. Mm-hmm. And we do need to deal differently with children. Mm, mm, mm. Eh, manje balaleli sino sipo wase pita maritpegu na uno gutile afun guti agubege. Sao wana sipo ninjani? Ya, wasa wana gujani. Nge kona mfuwe tunjani wen? Ya, wasa pita wana mwenye mbuzi da. Yes. Basoni. Umbuzi wangu kwenye 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 baba na mpye vitu uu Yohan la hapo Ya uu Yohan, yes Oke mkwenye kwenye na kubuti ebe mtoto no Kukula kwa makala Ito oke sili mbeko Kusu kwa sili hii Kukula makala kunja ni mfotu? Umche Umche oto no uuti sili kule mkala mshushi sikala Ito oke sili mbeko no. Okay. 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 So don't get for it. Yes. 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 Mm-hmm. 
Where did the moon and the engine not follow? No. Mind you, Funu was good. It's minus in Jalo Gunzu and Jani. Shooting is like you mean, and the high court, you know, it is a school as I'm for court. Court on a figure like three to go back to Aknabu Fagas, Manju Funuaz, good to get a high court in Alu in Lunga and looking at critical and getting longer in the Fagas, the local Funuaz. I'm Jano with his cold. The Nimbus Ramu Ubus in Tunibus Ruchi. The rich man in the world would call you as a high court. Oh, oh, okay, okay. You know, to them, so there was a winter team, I have a fish. Okay, what is there is there and I'm better than. Okay, okay, O- over to you, uh, Mr. Johan Titoid. I don't yeah. know whether you did, you did get the questions. Did you get the questions? Because, uh, no, sorry. Yeah, but because what he says now, he wants to know about the act, whether that act is in place now, is it working, that the case can just get into court and then go out, uh, go on with the case without the docket, of which I think it's impossible. Because what I know, whatever, if the case is being... Um, there's going to be a case, they need to be a docket. But now he wants to know. It seems as if there is a case that went into court and then they had to carry on with the case without the docket. That's the first question that he has. We'll see. Uh, the line's quite bad. Um, just repeat the question again. He says he, he wants to, to know that the act, I don't know whether there is an act that says the, the case can go to court without the docket and then they can just get, go further with the case without the docket. He wants to know whether they, that act is still in place. Is it working as we speak? The, uh, yeah, I, I didn't quite hear it, but what, what happens is that the normal, uh, not, not um, the only thing that has changed is simply the way we bring the children to court. Otherwise, the acts are all in place. Mm. It's just a different procedure that is being followed. That is all that basically has changed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, you know, so, so no acts have been repealed mm. to, uh, uh, for the child, the, uh, to, to bring the Child Justice Act into operation. The Child Justice Act has simply been placed on top of the Criminal Procedure Act and the Children's Act. Mm, 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 mm. So you must read, so the Child Justice Act is simply an addendum to those two acts, but nothing's been repealed, nothing's been changed. Oh, okay. It's just a procedure, yeah. Mm. And then the next question that she wants, he wants to know, he says there is, there is a case that went to high court, but it yes. was dismissed there because they say there's no evidence. But now what he wants to know, can that case go to regional court and start afresh? Yes, look, any case, any case uh, which... If there is no evidence, mm. then I, I, I accept that it was probably withdrawn or something. But that case can always, if there is evidence, uh, go back to any court, whether it's regional court, whether it's high court. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Mm, okay, that's understandable. Ngiyathemba mm-hmm. ke mfothu sipho semeruthi bheke uzwili ukuthi uthini umnumzana uDotoid uyakhuluma uthixa ukho umthetho phasi siwe njalo kodwa ke ke kwashintsha iyinhlelo okwenziwa ngazo emthethweni ikakhulu kazi maqondene namacala bhekene neyingane ukuthi kube khona izitation njalo lapho kodwa likhi icala elingaliqulwa ngaphandle kwedokethi kuloko kwesibili uthe noma ngabe thwa icala likuphi noma ngabe thwa lise high court or regional court uma ngenabo nje ubufakazi alikhi icala elingaqhubeka ngiyathemba ukutholile lokho sipho We've got another caller on the line, Untogozo from Peter Meritzberg. Hi, Untogozo. Thank you. 
Yes, Mr. Detroit. We've got another caller now. Ntogozo from Peter. Yeah, Ntogozo from Peter Merusbeck. Hello. Hello, Ntogozo. Hello. Hi, Ntogozo. Ntogozo. No, it doesn't seem that we've got Ntogozo on the line. We've got uh, okay. Mau Rema. Hello, Mau. Hello. Hello? Yes. Is that Mau? Mau? Uh, it seems as if we've lost another caller now. Mau Rema, hello? Hello? Hello, Mamu Rema? Mamu? Hello, Mamu? There is another caller, oh, Mamu Rema. Hello, Mamu? Mamu Rema? It seems as if we've lost another caller. What 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 else can you tell us, uh, Mr. Detroit, about this um, CJ Act, the, the Child Justice Act, that maybe the viewers would love to know about? Um, <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you can just elaborate, if you can just elaborate. Well, what it does is that it takes, it, it raises the age of criminal capacity mm. from... The, the, the old one was seven. If you were under seven, you were um, presumed not to be able to commit an offence. That is raised to ten years now. Mm, mm. And Parliament will review that in another, uh, well, five years after the Act came into operation. So in 20, 2015, they will review that, and the possibility exists that they might even raise it. Mm, mm, so... Mm. But that is something in the future. We don't know what will happen. But children between the ages of 10, over 10 years of age, and under 14, they, uh, they can commit offences, but then we have to prove the state. The prosecution has to prove that there is criminal capacity. Mm. Let me just go back to the children under 10. Mm. If they do commit offences, we cannot prosecute them. Yeah, but because they're under age, eh? Hey? They are underage, but the Act makes provision that they will be sent to a probation officer who will be, a probation officer is in the employ of the Department of Social Development. Okay. And mm, mm. Then intervention will take place with that child. Uh, so hopefully to get it on the straight and narrow. Mm, uh, mm. And then, of course, we cannot... Um, yeah, and then, of course, the normal rules apply with a child over 14 to under 18. Mm, mm. Uh, then, then, you know, they, they have criminal capacity, and we decide whether we're going to divert them or not. Or not. Mm, mm. Yeah. When, when it comes to the, the normal court procedure, if the matter goes to trial, mm. um, or, well, before I get there, let me talk about the pre preliminary inquiry. Okay. That preliminary inquiry is, is presided over by a person by the name of an inquiry magistrate. Okay. It's, it's an informal pre-trial procedure. Mm, and mm. everybody basically sits around the table and they, the, the probation officer has submitted an assessment report. Mm -hmm. um, we've got the service provider there, the prosecutor, the magistrate. Uh, we may even have legal representative for the uh, child. We've got the child's parent there or guardian or, a, or an appropriate adult. And the whole idea is that everybody sits around this table and works out what is best for the child. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mr. Detroit, uh, we've got another call. I'm sorry to disturb, but we've okay. got another call on the line. Uh, Mamu Rema, what's the Peter Merit's big hello? Yeah, I, I keep her ease. 
Yesuleko kiphela sibili kodwa lokuqala yalikhipha. Ukuthi kodwa manje ke khombi ngicela ukubuza ke kuyiphatha imandla ukuthi ngabe kulu amalungelo engane ukuthi mangabe yenza into ebuhlunga ngake ngalowe sibheke ubhekele ukuthi inga i under age kodwa ibikwazi kwenza izinto eziphlunga ngaka. Mhm. Mm, Yini siso mm. sami la khombi ukuthi ingane yebo noma ingaba under age kodwa ma yenza into ebuhlunga ibulele noma yenze nje into iqala ephula umthetho ingathi ingane zama nje ngavele ingane zemani seziyazi ukuthi zenzani zina malungelo ziyebo kumbi bevela benze ijele ongcono le ingane nazo nje zipanishwe nje ngaba abanye abantu abadala impela kuhlunga be ngoba iingane ke thiwa seziyakhishwa azifunakele ukuthi ingane iboshwe ngoba incane ayibe phansi kwabazali Mm-hmm. <laughs> I will look at Ngizwa Mhm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ngobama findings are the catalog of investigation. Did not go and determine it because I don't go by the way. I need Ula Ula when I'm in the situation, and that's the end of my recommendation to court. Then you choose the court to get the decision you put together. The case will be diverted. What I am as she does, I'm a recommendation. So the case is a court and a criminal justice. If not one, then I'm a case and I'll do the Camilla Umparati was due to it. I go along the Amakala at Isaac Twice. I am a criminal justice system. Gives a gasm. We are going to Ping a better ink in Goma City Sapega, Abandona Banning, as in his into the Sura Emakaya, Gwenang and Tela, Abandona Bakulisangayo, Ginga Shugutiga, Abazali, Ebate, Gungado and Telagota, Nenze, good corn and flambe, a in chance like Suga Corn, a car with Inganis, the Kunaja, Isum, Juan Peganjan, a corn and flambe, Boni, the car when they are nominally partaking Gaikaya, Bakon and Abandabanja, the Bangaras with Basal and Abandran, Bakulu and Abamajanga, my psychologist. Yeah, the mamma pendulum is in the 
ngizwakahle <laughs> Uh, Mr. Chetty, maybe there is something that you'd love to act um, as the previous caller just called and asked about, uh, because the children have got rights, that's what she says. She says, is it the rights of the kids uh, now that they can commit whatever crime that they want to commit because they know that uh, the punishment is very lenient when it comes to, ki to, to the children? What can you just add on top of what uh, Tobile just said? Yeah. Uh, uh, you were speaking there, and I don't quite hear so well. But the Child Justice Act is divided into the three schedules of offences. Mm. Schedule 1 is the minor offences, Schedule 2 the more serious offences, and Schedule 3 the very serious offences like rape, murder, robbery with aggravating circumstances, etc. Mm. Now, if diversion is going to work, Mm -hmm. uh, we also, the Act makes provision for certain levels or uh, options of diversions. Mm -hmm. So level one option is applicable to Schedule 1 offences. Level mm -hmm. two options are applicable to Schedule 2 and 3. Mm -hmm. And as far as Schedule 3 are concerned, you cannot divert it unless the, the Director of Public Prosecutions has consented to that diversion. Mm -hmm. Now, so, and, and as far as Schedule 2s are concerned, the senior public prosecutor must give consent for that diversion. Mm -hmm. the, the, the diversions will work if, at, when it is diverted, when the probation officer, the inquiry magistrate, the prosecutors, and the service provider all get together, Mm -hmm. And because it's not just one option, they, 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 uh, it's, 
where the app makes provision for all sorts of options and you can mix and match. Mm-hmm. So you must apply your mind to, to, to get the proper diversion options going. Mm-hmm. And if, if, if you can't, the Act also makes provision that in certain circumstances you can do a personal uh, diversion order for that child to suit that child's uh, needs. Mm-hmm. But remember, diversion is not a right. Mm-hmm. The only you don't you people and even prosecutors make the mistake. They think they must divert. Mm-hmm. You only divert in appropriate circumstances, and then you must have appropriate service providers and and service options. It's no use diverting somebody who has stolen something and he goes and works at the SPCA for forty hours. Mm. What does that teach you? Mm. It doesn't teach him anything. Exactly. You see? Mm. So, and that is what the Act tries to do. You must apply your mind and actually do something to get that child uh, to rehabilitate. Mm-hmm. Remember, if that child does get a previous conviction, um, then that child's future is virtually gone. Let's say he, he did something stupid when he was 16 years old. Mm-hmm. He robbed somebody. Now, and he's actually a good student. Now he gets to matric, he goes to college, and he gets a bursary to study in the United States. But because he's got a previous conviction, mm-hmm. he mm-hmm. can't do it. Mm-hmm. Simply because of some foolish act. People do turn around, and I, and, and I accept that the public do this, that they seem to think that the child is getting away with murder. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But if applied properly, <laughs> and these compliance, and with every diversion order, there is somebody is appointed to monitor compliance. Mm, mm, mm. So, and if there's non-compliance, the child goes back to court, and we can actually make the diversion even more onerous. What people don't realize is that some diversion orders can last up to four years. Mm, 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 I mm, heard the mm. caller talk about sexual offenses. Mm, Your mm. sexual offense program normally lasts two years, three years. Mm, mm. Mr. Chetty, we've got another caller on the lines. Nintanta Sawona? (laughs) Yes, Ms. Nintanta? It's a calling ma'am. Nitanta <laughs> 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 Mm-hmm. Mm, mm. Mm, mm. Mr. Chetty, Nantanta says she's calling from Winen, and then she says uh, this is just something that she's thinking about and say most of the cases of the offenders, they're becoming younger and younger. So now if the punishment can should go according to the offense, um, I think it will be better because most of the criminals now are kids or are children that we're talking about. What do you think about that? Yeah. There, there is some, that, that is quite a valid point. Uh, in KZN, uh, we find that the, the crime rate with well, children between or people, persons between the age of 16 and say 25 commit a huge number of crimes, and it's usually murder, rape, and robbery with aggravating circumstances. Mm. But the statistics that we are getting is that there are very few children under 14 
mm-hmm. who actually commit offences. It's, it's that bracket 15, 16, 17 mm-hmm. that commit the most offences. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and those are the ones coming through that, that we see on our statistics. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and remember, in South Africa, we've got socio-economic problems. And, and that lends itself to criminality. Mm-hmm. Um, schools breaking down, school discipline, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, there, there are many reasons for it. Um, and the idea is, some of these kids, I've been involved in, in cases where a matric boy, he obviously, he finished his matric, he didn't have anything to do, so he joined a gang. Mm. Uh, two or three of them got together. And, and they went on a rampage and they committed some quite uh, serious offences. And he was caught and he was sentenced to 20 years imprisonment. Mm. Uh, the police then fortunately picked up his fingerprint in a, in a matter uh, that he had committed before he had committed the offence that he was sentenced to 20 years. And he came back to court, he pleaded guilty. Now that boy ruined his life. When you saw him again, he was totally rehabilitated. Mm, mm. But because of the nature of the offences, he's going to spend the next 20 years in prison. Mm. Um, and that's and, 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 uh, to try and prevent that sort of thing happening. Mm. Every person, you know, do the, they say, do the crime, do the time sort of thing. But uh, uh, children do do stupid things. Many of us yes, they do. have done mm. stupid things in our teenage Yes. Yeah, or they could. We were when they do we mm. 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 Yeah. Yeah, we've got you. another call on the line, uh, Mr. Chetty. We've got Kaeli Isle. Sabona Kaeli Isle? Yeah, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to Okay, you look pen and invert. Okay, okay, see you again. Mr. Chetty, Kailisha wants to know if, uh, he's calling from Ashdown in Peter Merritt's back. He just wants to know is it true that um, you can be an offender or you can commit crime and then your case can just carry on without you being there? So, can you just repeat that? Is it true that? Yes, he says if you can um, commit crime. And then uh, your case can go into court and carries on without you being there. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not sure I, I quite heard the case. I heard the little thing. But let me tell you this, is that if you're not diverted, you do go to the criminal, the, the child justice court, which is the criminal court. Okay, and Ma- maybe maybe Mr. Dutoit can answer it to that because he's NPA. Mr. Dutoit, yeah. is it possible that you, somebody can commit crime and then yeah. the, co- the case goes to court and then the offender, the case can carry on without the offender being present at court? No. Ooh, can you just repeat that last bit, please? Yeah, he wants to know if you can just um, commit crime and then your yeah. case goes to court. Yes. And then they can just carry on with your case without you as the offender being present in court. No, no, no. You, you must be present. You must be present. Yeah. Mm, mm. yeah. Exactly. yeah they, we, our criminal procedure doesn't make provision for the absence of anybody. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Mm. And perhaps, ma'am, if I can add, you know, I, I heard a lot in terms of children's rights. Now, one must remember that when you talk of the rights of the child, you also then link it to responsibilities. So for every right that a child has, the child also then has responsibilities. And with regards to the diversion aspect, the diversion aspect in terms of Section 56 of the Child Justice Act mm-hmm. is a regulated process. You know, um, Section 45 talks to the norms and standards for diversion. Now, as the Department of Social Development, we are responsible in terms of Section 56, to create uh, a policy framework for the accreditation of diversion programs and service providers. So the diversion programs that we have are subject to an accreditation process to ensure that they meet the minimum norms and standards for diversion. For example, 
if you have a sexual offenses diversion program, the norms and standards speaks to an aspect in relation to sexual offenses and what then the criteria would be for us to assess those programs. Now, in the province, you know, the department spearheads uh, the, the process and we have the accreditation committee which is chaired by the Department of Social Development. We also then have the site verification committee and the quality assurance committee. So there's a lot that we are doing, you know, to ensure that the diversion program is not a soft option for children. And as Mr. Detroit mentioned, that you have different schedules in terms of the Child Justice Act, you know, from your Schedule 1 offenses, which are your more minor offenses, to Schedule 3, which is your serious offenses. Now, if you are diverted to a level two diversion option, it's by no means a soft option. You know, there's certain things that the child would need to do. And there's also in terms of the regulations of the Child Justice Act, mm. there's the fine, mm. is your compliance, non-compliance certificate. And if we find that the child is not complying with the diversion program, that child is then referred back to court. Now, if you find that the child is complying with the diversion program, then obviously there's a compliance certificate which states that the child has successfully met, you know, the requirements of the diversion program and the child, you know, has successfully completed that program. Mm. So diversion is not a soft option. I can understand, you know, the concern from the public, but we can assure you that there's a lot that's been done, you know, in the province in terms of the general provisions of the Act is the need for an intersectoral committee on child justice. Now, in the province, we have a provincial child justice forum, which is chaired by the Department of Justice and Constitutional Development. And that forum is basically, you know, the child justice matters are high on the agenda. And we ensure that, you know, we deal with aspects, you know, in terms of challenges that may prevail. And we try to, you know, address those challenges to ensure that we have an effective and an efficient child justice system in place. But tell me, there's something that I, I just want to know. Does it happen that somebody can be sentenced in absentia or does it happen in the movies only? Yeah, that you can I be sentenced without would, you being present? <laughs> does it happen in the movies only? Yeah, I would think it only happens in the movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that is why a lot of callers now, they just want to know what happens when your case goes to court and you're, you're not even there, you're absent, and then you can be found guilty. But it, it's really impossible. It, it's true that it can only happen in the movies. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, ma'am, just to add, there's been a lot of uh, improvements in terms of the way we deal with children. You know, Section 28 of the Constitution is there, you know, in terms of the rights of the child. And I think as various departments, we try to ensure that, you know, we uphold the rights of children. And I think children are critical because a child is basically your future. And, you know, you need to ensure that you empower children. You know, there's various programs, there's various initiatives, there's various things that are taking place whereby we ensure that, you know, we try by all means, you know, to ensure that the child can, uh, you know, enforce that behavioral change that is required for them to to, to be uh, reintegrated into mainstream society and, and, you know, to carry on in terms of their future as responsible citizens of the land. So the Child Justice Act is is a brilliant piece of legislation. Obviously, each piece of legislation will be reviewed, and the Child Justice Act was promulgated. It was proclaimed in April uh, 2010, and we've been uh, basically two years into its implementation. And mm. there's definitely certain areas where really it has excelled, you know, in terms of the way we've dealt with children, uh, the provisions in terms of the Child Justice Act. And, and really, I'm very, very hopeful and very excited, you know, mm. in terms mm. of the implementation mm. of the Child Justice Act. And mm. I think as the Department of Social Development, we take it very seriously in terms of our roles and responsibilities, and so too to the other departments, you know, in terms of roles and responsibilities. If you look at the international instruments, you know, they, they basically encourage that your minimum age of criminal capacity should be um, under 12. But mm. with child justice, we've made an improvement. N- now, I'm very sorry we ran out of time, but uh, to Mr. Detroit and uh, Toby, I would love to give you a 30 second in p- for the parting message. What can you say now in closing? Thank you. Yes, Mr. Tutai. Or Tobile? Yes, ma. Yes, ma. Sisi vala njunga tandu kushia na mupumia lezo njenga mafupi. 
Thank you so much to everyone, Pravin Chetty and Johan Dutoy. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. But I didn't even look at what she was saying. I'm saying, 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 that was a live feed crossing over brought to us by the Government Communications and Information Systems about the Department of Justice and Con from the Department of Justice and Constitutional Development.